Hello friends, this is Shrines and it's time for more of Code Realize Wintertide Miracle Special Epilogue. Today it is going to be St. Germain's episode. I thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, let me know what you think. And this looks like it's going to be really cute too. Let us boast to our heart's content beneath this brilliant sun. The woman I love is far from anything like a calamity. She is a woman capable of such a beautiful, kind, delightful smile. Not a sweet, sinful kiss that one craves as they hurt the other person, but a gentle, tender kiss sharing heat like a flame to a fresh wick. Day after day, as if to celebrate the poison fading away from her body with our lips. We kiss each other many times, wishing for the bright future awaiting us. The bells bless us with their triumphant ringing. The young man who had continued to reap the seeds of calamity for thousands of long years in order to guide the world to prosperity. One of Idea's apostles, Saint Germain. However, his allegiance to idea is now a thing of the past. Once constrained by the chain of fate, as one ordered to carry out another's will, a phantom straying from the flow of time, he is now relieved of his post as apostle by the hand of Omnibus, idea's leader, and steps into his new future. Thus, the storm about to tell is a tale of a girl who was once a monster and a young man who was once a phantom. The story of a small blessing, told as her happiness emerges like dawn in the horizon. I like that he's left idea. The sunny sky and white clouds. The white stream that climbs to the sky as if to reach for those clouds. The wind passing over River Thames blows cool, whistling over the flow of familiar waters. One day, after a long while it passed, after we night journeyed around the world, we returned to London, our second hometown for the first time in ages. <laughs> ちょうぼうの美しいレストラン。階段を上がると、ガラス張りのプロムナードと、その奥には音楽ホールもあります。あ、もし体を動かしたいようであれば、小さいですが、運動場も備えていますよ。he calmly guides me around the interior of the ship. Oh, they're on a ship, okay. I walk obediently behind him in mirrored step like a newly adopted cat. Or perhaps there's nothing I can do because I'm too surprised and confused. So after touring the entirety of the ship's interior, I feel deja vu as Saint Germain leads me. Sape, Itoshi Watashino Lady, Ikaga de Staka. After going up on the deck, a kind smile appears on Saint Germain's face as he turns towards me. Watashi no Fune. Duo Gloria Goa. They own it. Oh, nice. Duo Gloria. Aria, so that means. I knew it. It wasn't deja vu, but rather I'd seen this ship before. Though I was confused for a second since it had been restored and reconstructed. This is definitely the Gloria, the ship that used to be the home base of the Italian mafia, Avido Cudel. I liked Impy's hair. Meaning, it was a ship where we and Lupin's crew had engaged in our big scuffle. Let me organize my thoughts for a second. So, um, why is this ship here? 
From what I recall, it was destroyed in an explosion. Purchased this entire ship? はい。船に罪はありませんし、これほどの船が朽ち果ててしまうのももったいない話だと思いましてね。爆発による損壊があったとはいえ、骨組みは無事でしたから。もうだったわ、さん。修理すれば。ほら。この通り。そう、therefore
No, it's just more adorable. It's not right to pick on me like that. I'm seriously gonna cry one of these days. <laughs> I angry to turn away from him and Saint Germain touches my cheek as if to calm me. Although I try to bite his fingertip to convey them actually upset. Hmm. Hiding my minor act of rebellion and daring, Saint Germain laughs gently. Saint Germain chuckles once more and spreads his arms wide under the sun. Are they gonna get married on the ship? Then he points all around the ship as if to make me an offer. You mean? Saint Germain draws me naturally into a hug. His hand curls around my hip in the small of my back with force. Yes, filled with an overwhelming sense of purpose, I slowly accept his lips. They are soft, resilient, and warm, and our touches convey the depths of our love. There's no one watching us. I will never hurt the person I love through my touches. In that case, I didn't need to hold back. The kiss I exchanged with no hint of fear was unbearably sweet. We exchanged kisses again and again as if to make absolutely sure. In actuality, the poison completely disappeared from my body about half a month ago today. The antidote that Victor accomplished to make. The ring created from the emerald tablet that St. Germain's friend, Trimagistius, left behind. Due to their synergy, my poison has begun to fade gradually during our travels and... Oh, it changed color to white. Then it quietly disappeared completely. Without any dramatic pain. Nor suffering. Nor heat. Like how waves recede without a sound, my poison was gone before I knew it. At the same time, the gem in my chest, which was supposed to be the spark of calamity for the world, had lost its bright blue colors. As of late, its shine was white in my chest. According to Victor, who examined it on a later date, this color was apparently proof that the toxins had disappeared. Victor certified. それにこの編成はあくまでも毒素を消すだけで、その先で賢者の石になったりはしない。つまり、カルディア、君はもう自由なんだ。Touching my chest as if to check, the shining white gem returns a faint warmth. I once held on to a fatalist conclusion that I would never be able to touch another person. I hold my entire body. Like myself, like I'd wished I'd always been hugged. Really? Thank you. It's all thanks to you that the poison disappeared like this. Yeah, so na. Boku hitori no chikara j a n a y o Torisne gistos no shirio ya. Lupan tachi no kyo ryuk. Minna ga ita kara koso no kekka da yo. Iwa ba, minna no o k a g e d e s u ka? The people who showed me important emotions 
who showed me what true human happiness was. Lupin's crew, who gathered St. Germain's mansion, and everyone I met in London. Smiling at me as my cheeks relaxed, Victor stared at the white gem. ただ、一つ言っておくけど、永久期間ではなくなった以上、君の宝石はいつか活動を貯める。つまり… You'll die one day. That my life will come to an end someday, yes? そう。気づいてたんだね。Yes, however, I'm fine with it. After all, it's natural for a person to die someday. Eh, so desne. Eh, nado, honlai wa arieru beki dewa nai mono. Hito no arikata to shite. Izre shinu no ga tadashi michi nano desu kara. Hearing Saint Germain's words as they stared off in the distance, Victor nods in agreement. No longer will I be burdened with sorrow. The next day, after receiving confirmation that my body returned to normal, we began to reside in the familiar mansion in London, trying to prepare for our wedding, which included, for example, ordering decorations and organizing the catering arrangements. Then, we sent our request to the church. In short, we found no shorter things to do. But the most important detail of all was to send invitations out to all of our guests. What word should I use? How should I m my introduction go? As I tried my best to think of something, I was troubled as I stared at the parchment. Let's see, MPs will go to the United States. Van Helsing's and Delhi's are in the vampire region, so it will be to the Delacroix castle. Lupin's will go to the hideout in France, and I can just hand one to Victor on Lower Street. Ooh, Saint Germain, I pretty much finished up writing the invitations for Lupin and the others, including writing the addresses. こちらも花の手配は無事終えましたよ。式の日に合わせて開花を調整するそうです。そちらは大変でしょうが、続けて他の面々への招待状もお願いしますね。yeah, first it's the Sholmes and his partner that we met the other day, then the Gordon family. Shall I send out invitations to Ideal as well? While making a list of the guests we're inviting, I raised my head slightly. The response to my question was a voice intermixed with a quiet chuckle. もちろんです。私たちがいかに愛し合っているか、彼らに見せつけてやりましょう。Especially Hansel. Alright, although I'm skeptical of the thought that they'll arrive normally. The Secret Society administers history, idea. With whom Saint Germain had spent eternity, as well as the organization he had left behind. He'd seen all manner of life and death with them, so he might have mixed feelings. He didn't show Hansel! Saint Germain urged me so without tension, along with a smile. You look like you're having fun. <laughs> Upon being asked, I reply with, I'd say of course I'm excited, but you know. I think it is. Of course, I'm excited for this wedding. It's going to be awesome. I don't even need to ask myself. It doesn't matter where the idea comes or not. There's no way my heart wouldn't flutter whenever I think about our upcoming wedding. Of course, I'm excited. That's why I replied to Saint Germain with my fullest smile. You wearing a tuxedo on the wedding? You escorting me the day of? Just imagining it has me giddy with anticipation. おや、おや。期待してくれるのは嬉しいですが、新郎は主役であると同時に引き立て役。一番の主役であるあなたのドレスを皆は期待していると思いますよ。Then Saint Germain smiled tenderly and rubbed my head gently. <笑>私も初めての経験ですし。
正直緊張していますがですが緊張や不安よりもずっと今は喜びの方が大きい誰よりも愛しいあなたとこの先もずっと共に生きていくと神に誓いを立てられるこれほど嬉しいことは私の人生で他にありえませんから Yes, same for me And everyone will bless that vow along with beautiful flowers I'm sure that'll be once in a lifetime treasure さてそれでは気分転換に今日は出かけることにしましょうか Huh? But there's still so much to prepare for the wedding いいえ問題ありませんよ出かけるのも準備の一環ですから We must taste chess cake Then are we going to order something again? それは着くまでのお楽しみです Alright, in any case I'll go get ready I Staring at the invitation she had written, I whispered to myself. I had given up spending my life together with someone at the moment I became an apostle. It was only natural. An apostle of idea, whose life wrung eternally, could never experience finite human pleasures. At least, so I thought. However, there was one thing I mustn't forget. Victor insisted that things were fine, so I too must repeat all that appears to be fine. But the ruling of fate is yet to be decided. Omnibus, the leader of idea. Soon a decision will be reached by the future, seeing Matriarch herself. What is this all about? As we progressed with our preparations, what had proved most difficult was the wardrobe. Specifically, the wedding dress. The main event. After all, up until now, I had never concerned myself with such aesthetic details. So naturally, I was none the wiser about clothing. As a result... Ah, yes. It's not just a cosplay, but a order made for you. Please. Ooh, custom-made hair ornaments. Go, Saint Germain. That's right. I forgot he's so rich. Let's go and get the hair ornaments. I forgot he's so rich. So, it ended with me allowing Saint Germain to do whatever he liked. Um, Saint Germain? It sort of looks like our total was adding up to a sum of money I've never seen before. Don't worry about it. The money is for the use of it. But, but... Of course, it's not a good thing. But... Oh, I feel like I should stop him, but part of me believes he thinks that because he cares for me, so I couldn't bear to stop him. It was a very vicious cycle. Deva, kata wa kochira de onegai shimasu. Kichou wa yahari shiro desu ne. フリルは控えめの方が美しさが際立つ。瞳の色に合わせて青や緑が入っても映えると思いますよ。こちらの生地などいかがですか？As we continue to talk, several selections of white material are brought and spread before us. The fabric touches my body softly as they measure my length and size. Whilst they do so, it forces me to be aware. That I am to wear this dress on my wedding day. I wonder what sort of dress it's going to be. それはしばしのお楽しみですが、きっと世界一美しい花嫁になる
So is Saint Germain picking everything for her, even her dress? She doesn't even know what it's gonna look like. Oh my goodness, wow. Add more pressure, why don't you? The more fun it is, the busier it is. Time flies by in the blink of an eye. Weeks pass until we are mere days away from the actual wedding. Standing before St. Germain and I today was a guest of the Duro Gloria here to aid us in preparations. What wonderful guest! <laughs> Don't worry, there's no way I could ever forget about everyone. All of our old friends are gathered in London answering the invitations we had sent, coming one by one to greet us. But seeing it in person is a whole other thing. まさか船を丸ごと買い上げるとは随分豪快なことをしたな、伯爵。せっかくですから皆の記憶に残る特別なものにしようと思いまして。それにこの船自体も今後の旅に有用ですからね。うほほほほ。古和式俺のエンジェ
It seems as though both St. Germain and myself have done everything we can to make this a truly wonderful wedding. All we can do now is wait for the day. After St. Germain takes a final gander around his hall, the pair of us prepare for bed. Once I awake, it'll be time for the ceremony. My wedding with St. Germain. There's no hiding this feeling anymore now that we've come this far. Waving my hand to everyone, exchanging a kiss. You've already kissed several times before, but just imagining that one special moment causes my body to tremble with warmth. No, I should calm down a bit. Listening as the river flow crashes against the hull, I let out a big sigh. In any case, I should be working on something, anything. Pulling out the handwritten list of names, I review the invited guests once more. Let's see, everyone from Lupin's crew, Deli, Sholmes, also... A category written all the way at the bottom is a list of names marked no response. Looking at the names divided in that category, I sigh once more, squinting my eyes. Just as I thought, there's no response to my deal as apostles. Personally, I can't help but think of them as enemies, from the strong first impression of our confrontation. But to St. Germain, they are comrades who had spent ages together. Which is why, although St. Germain himself knew the chances were slim, he asked me to send them invitations. Because for St. Germain, who has lived an overwhelming amount of time, ideas apostles are... In that moment... As I was about to finish my thought, the light suddenly switched off. What's going on? The crash of the waves beneath the ship and the metallic bellow of the hull all ceased as if the world had stopped and a dark soundlessness spreads. Is this? I've experienced this strange feeling before. Yes, I believe it was. Hansel! Who are you? A creak follows a knock upon the door. What appears is a boy with a mysterious look. A giant, honey-colored fork shines, and he is dressed in a black robe with a scale-like chain. His distinctive clothing and his aura are strangely familiar to me. Could it be that he is also one of Idea's apostles? So, Boktachu Idea no Shito Henzel Hexen House to Emoto no Greater Sister. What sister? Without bothering to answer my question, he rubs his giant fork. The boy who claims to be Hanzo beckons me with his hand, or an expression that is difficult for me to read. Gotta get mother's blessing. Come, but... This is so sudden. Ah, Shimpai Ranayo. Sammo, Sokoni Irukara. Kimi. Saint Germain, too? His voice quivers with a sense of urgency, but I feel no hostility nor will to harm from this boy for now. All right, lead the way. Though I hesitate for a brief second, I nod slightly. If he really is one of Idea's apostles, there's no use in trying to run from him anyways. Fate chases after me, no matter how far I run. I have to confront and overcome it, or as though the past has taught me. Following Hanso as he leads the way, I tread carefully behind him. Unlike the room we were just in, the ship's interior is eerily dim and quiet, as always. I just walk straight inside of it. Soon Hansel stops in front of a warehouse besides a small freight door. 
はいどうぞ Come in isn't this for storage? うんそうこだね食料庫じゃないのが残念 Sorry Hanzo no sweets in there Though bewildered by his strange reply, I pushed open the door without a choice. In that moment. Whoa! Oh! The world was tied over beneath the glimmer of a bright ray of sun. Before I know it, green trees surround me, along with a strange, comforting trip of birds. I recognize this place. It's a miniature garden, a world frozen in time. Yes, this is. Idea's headquarters. I'd experienced coming here before, but it is never easy to grow accustomed to transport elsewhere all of a sudden. The only thing keeping from succumbing to my lightheadedness was. Cardia, sir? Saint Germain's here. The gentle warmth and voice of the dear person holding onto my shoulders. Yes, quite fine. Wait a minute. Was I called over here because. Eh, so you got to you? Oh, he's a shibri, ne? Oh, Josa. Henderumo. Anna, you go cross, Sama. もう下がっていいわ。うん、分かった、お母さん。それじゃ、奥でお菓子食べてる。あ、マジェスティックルーキングドッグフェース。アピアリングボフォーミーワズアオルドウォーマン、リーダーオブアイディア、オムニバス。
Guinevere takes a small step forward, revealing a familiar envelope clutched in her hand. That's our invitation! Saint Germain, had you expected there not to be a response? Yeah. Idea Sounds like he's been lonely for a long time. Saint Germain had told me once before that he is someone who should not exist. A phantom straying from the flow of time. No, that's not true. How nice it would have felt if I could yell so. However, I bite my tongue. Though Saint Germain was no longer an apostle, Guinevere very much was. Omnibus too would not stand for my opinion. <laughs> そんな顔をするものではないわ。私たちは自ら選んでこちらにいる。あなたが気にするのは筋違いよ。オッサソイは嬉しかったわ。でも、さんの言った通り、私たちは歴史の狭間に生きる者たちだから。Omnibus relaxes her face, her voice lowering as she softly pets her dog. I knew she was going to give her blessing to them. Poor Saint is stunned. Omnibus. <laughs> the wheels of Onibus Chair creak as she approaches us. Then, sitting before us, she closes her eyes and begins to say grace. わたしにとって、イデアの人はみんな家族のようなものなのだから。おわお、セイン。え、そう、そうですね。オムニブス。あ、that's So she has a thing with the scales on and his pocket watch type brooch has time. Interesting. Oh, Cardius' new family. His hand tightens over mine, as if he wishes to say something, and I clasp his in kind. As we did, a fairy light emerges from our hands, slowly encircling us. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, is that her blessing? There are no bells ringing. No cheers that resound. We're not even in our proper attire. But even so, this is definitely a blessing. 
It is a blessing, in fact, bestowed upon by a mother to her son, ready to leave home. We called her mother dearest. That's sweet. The light that surrounds us emits an exceptionally bright glow. This must be farewell. I come to realize that we will never set foot in this miniature, dreamlike garden ever again. Outside of the light, everything becomes distorted. The world turns hazy. And then, within that white nothingness... San Jerma. A voice calls out from afar, distant, as if from another strand of time, before landing in our ears. Who are you? Suddenly, as St. Germain's eyes widen, the voice fades out more into the distance. I didn't know whose voice that was. My only course of action was to wrap my arms gently around the stunned Saint Germain. Soon, our vision returns. Even after we return to the ship's interior, as the vessel floats above the calm water, a bell rings, signaling the happiest moment of our lives to come, resounding throughout the duo Gloria which today is our wedding hall. Listening to the pleasant chime of the bell, ringing at pitches both high and low, I put one foot in front of the other slowly, as if to relish every step I took. Wrapped around my body is a glistening silver white dress with an elegant princess line. The train which spreads in a fluffy manner and its grace so flattening that I blush. That's how wedding dresses are, Deli. Right behind me, I hear Deli's adorable complaints and notice Shirley's smile. <laughs> Thanks, you two. If I walk slowly, I'll be fine. Smiling towards the two holding the train as bridesmaids, helpers, I look forward. Atop the main hall, the deck of the ship where the groom awaits. Lined along the sides of the hallway, my friends are all gathered together, their voices crying out in joy at us. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Victor Van Helsing. It's not strange to hear that from Victor, but praise like that is rare from you, Van Helsing. <laughs> well, at least you're out of the denial phase, Impy. Thanks, Impy. You're more father than my actual father was. Greeting each other... Greeting each and every one of my guests, I exchange handshakes and high fives, making my way down the aisle. Oh, that's cute. Handshakes and high fives. And then, waiting around the door at the end of the path. Lupin, leader of his eponymous crew, stood tall of a smirk. Cardia. Lupin? Shiawasani. Nare soka? 
Of course. After I reply with a beaming smile, the corner of Lupin's lips curl. Then he pats me on the back lightly. Sa, Shinro ga o matsu da ze. Itte goi. Oh, Sholmes and Watson. Oh, yeah. Hana yume no odemashi no yo da ne. Kou yu shiki ってのはいいもんだな。若い二人に祝福あれってな。Whilst everyone blesses off those petals that float as they fall, the flower shower tickles my cheeks and my shoulders like tiny kisses falling from high. The people who had gathered with us today were all friends whose faces I knew well. The great detective who we had battled previously. Members of the mafia who came to our aid. Waving my hands toward those people. The wedding aisle came to an end, and I walk up to the altar. Towards the man dearest to my heart, who waited for me ahead. Oh wow! I love how her hair is! Oh, that's so pretty! Quite beautiful. Oh, the blue, the green on her the accents. That's so cute. I love that picture. And they look so happy together, too. Nandomo, Nandomo, so so she must have. Just sign it, cause the men of mine touched to. So they got in a photo of a look of him as a man. Yeah, but I get flustered when you stare. Oh yeah, Oka no mina ni wa misete oite. Ai suru otto ni wa dame da to. Jeez. As flower petals and words of congratulations flutter around us, we nestle close together. The cheers seem never ending, practically pushing us from behind. Anata no doku wa buji naku natte. Yeah, she's free from that poison and he's free from idea. So she was in a cat con shiki on the carrette. No, Omoino Coscoto a night or you yats this net. That would be a problem. A big problem. I need you to find even greater happiness from now on, together with me. Kore isho ni desu ka? Sore wa mata muzukashii mokyou da. Desu ga, yari gai ga arisou desu. Puffing with his cheeks pressed against mine. Ah, so that. So then, I'll be. She was an old guy. Eat pot. Oh, she. Go. You know, I can't. Oh, she. What do you have in mind, Saint Germain? He turns as if a sudden thought occurs to him and whispers to me. Yo. Kami no moto ni musubareta shirushi ni. Watashi ga anata no negai o hitotsu. Kanae de sashi agemasu. Grant one wish. Eh, so that's. Zetaku na kurashi demo, shiro hitotsu demo. Watashi ni kanaerare ru mono nara, nan datte. That was an offer unlike any that had been extended to me before. My eyes shine for a second from his offer. Wearing a smile from ear to ear. I begin to reveal my selfish answer. I want nothing in particular, because you have already granted so many of my wishes. Feelings of love and being loved, warmth from our friends, everything. That's why 
right now, I just want to achieve normal happiness with you. And he's so stunned. For some reason, St. Germain looks terribly surprised. However, he quickly offers a tender smile. そうですか。それは最高の願いですね。では、その願いを叶え続けていくことを今ここで誓いましょう。どうか受け入れていただけますか。私の愛しいカルディア。but of course, mm. how typical of this man to return an answer that takes the form of a question. The kiss which has been exchanged many times. However, soft as they may be, each one is different, unique from the other. We fall deeper in love with each kiss that we share. Hence why, on this day of all days, each moment in which we touch envelops us in warmth. The girl who was born as a monster, and the young man who lived as a phantom, are nowhere to be found anymore. The two standing in their place are lovers who yearn for happiness. Surely, from this day forward, we will continue down this path together, slowly, in a time where it is just the two of us, in a time warmer than anything else. that one special epilogue saint germain was awesome i really liked it it was really sweet he was quite extravagant in those wedding preparations but it was really nice that omnibus and the other apostles gave their blessings that was sweet but thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed please like comment share subscribe i do always appreciate you and have an awesome day bye